Throughout these videos, as you learn about breast cancer, we will repeatedly reference the anatomy of the breast. Understanding the different parts and functions will help you better grasp the details of breast cancer. The female breast is mostly made up of a collection of fat cells called adipose tissue. This tissue extends from the collarbone, down to the underarm, and across to the middle of the rib cage. There are also areas called lobes, lobules, and milk ducts. A healthy female breast is made up of 12 to 20 sections called lobes. Each of these lobes is made up of many smaller lobules, the gland that produces milk in nursing women. Both the lobes and lobules are connected by milk ducts, which act as stems or tubes to carry the milk to the nipple. Also within the adipose tissue is a network of ligaments, fibrous connective tissue, nerves, lymph vessels, lymph nodes, and blood vessels. The lymph system, which is part of the immune system, is a network of lymph vessels and lymph nodes running throughout the entire body, similar to how the blood circulatory system distributes elements throughout the body the lymph system transports disease-fighting cells and fluids. Clusters of bean-shaped lymph nodes are fixed in areas throughout the lymph system. They act as filters by carrying abnormal cells away from healthy tissue. In this chapter, we looked at the anatomy of the breast, focusing on the milk ducts, lobes, lobules, lymph system, and lymph nodes.